Hi, today I'm gonna show you 15 cool places to visit in Los Angeles if you like modern architecture. Let's start with number one, Walt Disney Concert Hall. This is one of the most iconic buildings in LA, designed by the architect Frank Gehry, who was awarded the Prisker Prize. You can take a tour of the hall or walk around the building. It also has a beautiful garden in the back. Check the link in the description below for the tour schedule. This concert hall is supposed to have the best acoustic in LA. If you have a chance, you should check out a concert there. Number 2. Right across the street from the concert hall, we have the Broad, which is a contemporary art museum. The admission to the museum is free, but you should reserve a ticket in advance before you visit, otherwise you may have to wait in line for an hour or so. You'll have to take the escalator through the tunnel to the third floor gallery space. Here, you can check out the balloon dog sculpture by Jeff Koon, the big table and chairs that you can walk under. Next to the museum, you can check out Olive Tree Garden. They are around 100 years old. Number 3. Just right across the street from the broad, we have the Mocha or Museum of Contemporary Art Los Angeles, designed by the Japanese architect Arata Isosaki. To access to the museum, you have to walk down to the sunken courtyard with a glass loop above. The museum has a great collection of artworks by famous artists like Andy Warhol, Mark Rothko, Roy Lichtenstein, and Barbara Cooker. Number 4. Not very far from the Mocha, we have the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels, designed by another Prisker Prize architect, Raphael Monio. The prominent design elements of the building are the bronze doors and the statue called the Virgin Mary. The main building material of this cathedral is the adobe colored concrete, which gives the warm atmosphere to the space. With the natural light coming from the window above, you can really feel the spiritual peacefulness here. Number 5. Across the 101 freeway from the cathedral, we have the high school number 9, which is a performing arts public high school designed by the Austrian firm Kuhpimmelblau. The school's most iconic form is the tower, which has a spiral form around it. That spiral form represents number 9. However, we have to look at it from the sky to see that it's number 9. Since it's a school, you might not be able to get inside, but it would be fun to walk around and see the building from the outside. Number 6. Another cool building in downtown area, the Caltrans building, designed by another Prisker Prize architect, Tom Mann of Morphosis. The building facades were made of the perforated metal panels. The random pattern on the facade makes it look like cars towering on a freeway. Number 7. In Art District, we have Hauser and Worth, Los Angeles which is an international art gallery devoted to contemporary art. The building used to be a flour mill and they renovated the building to be art galleries, restaurant, bookstore and a public garden. They also use vegetables and herbs from this garden to support the on-site restaurant. Number 
Number eight, not very far from downtown, we have Marciano Art Foundation. The building was originally a Scottish Rite Masonic temple designed by Millard Sheets in 1961, and fully repurposed and renovated by Gulapad Yantasad of Y in its new role as a contemporary art space. The admission is free, but it's better to reserve ticket before you go there. Please click at the link in the description below if you are interested. Number 9. Lagmar or Los Angeles County Museum of Art This is the largest art museum in LA. There are a few buildings here designed by an Italian architect, Renzo Piano. From the third floor of this building, you can see a nice cityscape view of LA. Right next to LACMA, we have Academy Museum of Motion Pictures or Oscar Museum, which will be opened soon. If you are Bank of America customer, you can get free admission ticket every first weekend of the month. Remember to bring your ATM card or credit card with you. Number 10. Right across the street from LACMA, we have Peterson Automotive Museum, which is one of the largest car museums in the world. It has more than 100 cars and motorcycles on display in its 25 galleries. The remaining half of the collection is kept in a vault located on the museum basement level. You will have to pay an admission premium to visit the vault. Number 11. If you visit the famous Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills, you should stop by at the Pali Center for Media, designed by another Prisker Prize architect, Richard Meyer. This is a museum dedicated to television, radio, and emerging broadcasting technologies such as internet, mobile video, and podcasting. The admission is also free for this museum. Number 12, Style House, aka the case study house number 22, designed by the architect Pierre Koenig, located in the Hollywood Hills area. This house is considered an iconic representation of modern architecture in LA during the 20th century. From this house, you can see amazing panoramic view of the city. If you are interested to visit, please make a reservation before you go and click at the link in the description below. Number 13, the Getty Center, designed by Richard Meyer, is one of the largest art museums in LA. The Getty Center is famous for its permanent collection, which include pre-20th century European paintings, American and Asian arts, From here, you can see the amazing view of the city all the way to the Pacific Ocean. It also has a central garden designed by the artist Robert Irwin. The admission is free, but if you drive there, parking cost is $20. If you plan to visit the Getty Villa on the same day, you can get a coupon so that you don't have to pay for the parking again at the Getty Villa. Number 14, the Getty Villa. About 20 minutes drive from the Getty Center, depending on the traffic, you can visit the Getty Villa in Malibu. The entrance to the museum was designed by Machado and Silvetti Associates to simulate an archaeological dig, represented by using patterns of concrete and stones.
The villa is a recreation of an ancient Roman country house. The museum is famous for a collection of Greek and Roman arts and sculptures. Finally, the last on my list, number 15, the Eames House, aka the case study house number 8. It was designed by husband and wife Charles and Ray Eames in 1949 to serve as their home and studio. The most prominent design features of this house are the facades that has black painted grids, different types of the glass panels, and the colorful wall panels. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoy your next visit in LA. Please feel free to let me know your favorite places in the comments. And please click like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks so much for watching.